there is an absolutely white hot trend that is totally breaking the internet right now with the amount of sales this type of design is getting. Now, if you haven't seen it before, I am talking about the bootleg grunge vintage style t-shirts that are selling everywhere on Amazon, Etsy, and so many other print on demand sites. Now, this is a style that is going to continue to sell really, really well, and I can see it continuing to trend well into 2024. So this is definitely a type of design that people are asking for, and you're going to need to know how to make. Now, I'm going to show you step-by-step step exactly how to make this style of design, and it's actually really simple. There's just a few steps, and we're going to be making this together in under 10 minutes. So this is one that you're going to easily be able to customize and add tons of new designs to your print-on-demand shops to hopefully capitalize on this trend and make a ton of profit this year. So let's just jump right on into it. Now, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to make this on the design platform Kittle, which is my choice to create pretty much all of my print on demand designs. Now, if you haven't checked them out before, I will have all of their information linked down below. I definitely don't know what you're waiting for because they have so many amazing features from AI generation to even generative AI where you can type in a prompt and it's going to give you an editable design. So if you have an idea for something and you just don't know how to make it work, you can plug it in there and it will create something one of a kind for you that you can tweak and change however you like. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to make one of these bootleg style designs completely from scratch. So I am over here on my Kittle account and I am just going to go over to the upper right hand side and just click on a new project. Now it's going to prompt us to choose an artboard size. And one thing I really like about on Kittle is you can go over here to where it says POD presets, and then you can simply choose the platform that you're going to be selling on. Now, Amazon Merch is a site that I love to design for. And I find that that 4,500 by 5,400 pixel size is one that just works really well kind of across the board for all of my t-shirt designs. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that option and push create. Now, most of these bootleg style designs, you will find kind of a black background. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background color to be black. Now, there are so many different ways that you can make one of these bootleg style designs. You can make one with your friend's face. You can make one with something that you're interested in. But one that I've seen trending a ton is for people doing kind of these custom shirts with their pet's name and face on them. So that is a super fun one. And I definitely know that that is going to be a really good seller for you guys if you can add some of these to your shop. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now, the very first thing you're going to need for any of these style designs is a variation of some different pictures. So if you're using pictures of your friend, you want to take maybe five pictures of them. If you're using pictures of your pet, you're going to want about five pictures of your pet. So I am going to go over here to where it says uploads, and that is where you're going to upload your images once you find them. So you don't have to remove the background yet. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But I'm going to do all of these ones here and show you exactly how you could make one for your dog, your cat, or any other pet you have. So the very first thing that we want to do is actually start clicking on these photos. And then I'm just going to push the AI background remover right here over to the right hand side. And that's going to go ahead and really cleanly remove the background. The AI background remover on Kittle I find to be super fast and it gets the lines really, really clean compared to a lot of other sites that I've used background removers on. So we're just going to go through the five of those photos and remove all the backgrounds to those. Now you can use about six different photos, but I found that I kind of like to have one main kind of big photo in the middle and then a couple smaller ones on the side. So I think five is a really fun number, but you could play around with that too. You know, all of these can be really different. You can do your own take on them, but this is just a really simple formula that I've come up with that makes them really fast and easy. So I'm actually not even going to mess around with the placement of these photos yet. We're going to do some editing on them. But first, I'm going to kind of get that main text part that's going to really make it look like one of these bootleg style t-shirts. So I'm actually going to go over here to the left hand side where it says text. And you can just go ahead and add text yourself right here. So I could just start typing in what I wanted. But I'm actually going to go and scroll down here to their 
pre-formatted text that Kittle has. They have a lot of different variations that you can use, and there's one that works perfectly for this kind of shirt. So if you have Kittle, you're gonna go down to where it says gradients and you can push show all, but I found this metal one is pretty much perfect for what we want this to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make that a little bit bigger here. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is put your pet's name. I found that that is kind of the most popular for what this is going to say. So I'm gonna put Cooper right here and then we can just leave it straight right there, but I have found that some of the most successful shirts in this style, they kind of have a little bit of distorting, which that is something that really used to scare me a ton. I wasn't super skilled with some of the different design softwares that you can really contour and distort the lettering, but Kittle actually makes it really, really simple to do this. So I'm gonna just get this to the size that I want. I'm gonna make it kind of take up the whole canvas here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over to where it says distort and it's going to kind of put these circles where I can change the formatting of the lettering. So all I want to do for this style is I'm really just gonna drag this end one all the way down here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, kind of just make it arched in the middle. That looks really, really good so far. And then a lot of times on these shirts, they have a little bit of extra text kind of right here. So I'm thinking of saying something like Cooper, the golden. So I'm gonna go and add a headline here. I'm just gonna go ahead and change the color to white. I think that would look really good. Make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm just going to say the reach rever. You could say the golden retriever or Cooper the golden, whatever you want. Or if you have like a nickname for your dog, you could put that there too. You can really go a ton of different ways with this. But I'm just gonna go ahead and look through the text settings. Now, it's really nice to do kind of a script font along with this more metallic bold font. That's just a nice combination. So I'm gonna go over to where it says script and just look for one that's going to look really, really good next to this. Now, I don't like it to be super, super, thin. I want it to be readable, but we can still go for that look. All right, so I picked this font that's called Birthstone, and I think that looks really good. It kind of almost has that retro grunge look that we're going for, so that is going to fit really well. And then I'm just going to go ahead and actually change how this is laid out too by pushing angle, and that's just going to make it look really nice. I can kind of move it where I want. And then one last thing I'm gonna do to this lettering to just make it so we can see it a little bit better is I'm gonna add just a slight border on this and I'm gonna change the color to black here. So there, that is just gonna make it so when it crosses over with something else, we can still see that really, really well. All right, so I am happy with how that is looking. Now, the next thing before we're even going to format our pictures right here is I wanna kind of add some of the retro kind of grunge elements that really go well with this style of design. So things like plumes or lightning is going to look really nice in the background of this. So I'm actually gonna go over here to the elements on the left-hand side. And I'm just gonna look up lightning and see if there's any elements we can pull and kind of match to this style design. All right, so I looked up lightning and we definitely don't want kind of this more cartoony style. So I'm just going to keep scrolling and looking here. And then, okay, there is this one that could work really well, possibly, but let's see if there's anything else better here. Okay, actually, I really like these lightnings and the color kind of goes with what we already have. So we can add some of those and just keep copying these and adjusting them until we're happy with it. All right, so I'm gonna add a few of each of these and we're just gonna kind of play around with them in the background until it looks good. So I'm gonna resize. And we're gonna go ahead and send these all to the back. So if they're kind of crossing over with some of the elements you already put, don't worry about that because they're just gonna be in the background. And all of these we can kind of play around with the orientation too. I'm gonna flip this one as well. And this really doesn't have to be perfect. Kind of the messier, the better for something like this. I'm gonna put some over here in the corner. This I'm going to actually flip it horizontally and put it over here. This I'm gonna move around. And then we can see if that isn't going to be enough when we actually format the images because we might wanna add even more elements to this. But first I'm just gonna go ahead and send all of these to the back. All right, next is the really fun part, which is kind of organizing these photos to look super cute and fill out the whole thing. So I think this kind of funny one, I really want him to be in the middle here. So let's just go ahead and put him 
like that. And it's okay if it kind of crosses under this lettering. You can just play around with that until you're happy. And then this guy, I think I want him facing the other direction. So we can kind of make this look pretty balanced here. So he's going to go up here. He's going to go on the other side. And I'm just going to go ahead and make him a little bit bigger around the same size as the other one. Same deal with him. Oh, this is looking so cute already. This would make such a fun gift for somebody who is just such a pet lover and has like a dog that is basically just their family. You could make them this for Christmas, their birthday, and they would totally love that. Make him down here. This is looking so cute already. And then I'm going to actually send him to the back, backward. And then this guy is so fun chasing his ball. I'm going to put him over in the corner here. And that is already looking super, super cute. But I'm actually going to show you how to add just like a little bit more to tie these all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of them. And then I am just going to push object shadow. So I'm going to add a shadow here and I'm going to make the color actually kind of this color of the lightning. And then I'm just going to offset it a little bit here and then I'm going to blur it so it kind of blends into the background. I'm just going to start doing that for all of these. I'm going to make the offset a little bit bigger. I'm going to change the color there, make sure it's blurred and just go through the five of those and add that. So I'm gonna do that now. That is looking super, super cute. Now, say you didn't love this blue style, maybe you wanted to make this red instead or purple or something. All you have to do is click on the lettering here and then you're just gonna click on this text color and it's going to allow you to change all of the different colors here. So say I wanted this to be more of like a purpley color, I could totally do that, change the color of the lightning and the shadows and make it coordinate that way. So really the sky is the limit for what you can do with something like this but i'm going to show you what it actually looks like completed on a t-shirt now if you didn't know kittle actually has a mock-up generator so you can actually make mock-ups right on your design suite there which is super super nice all right so that is what it looks like that looks so so cute and i think a perfect style t-shirt for something like this it could be a comfort colors kind of baggy oversized t-shirt, even something that's more distressed, maybe even with some tie-dye elements. This kind of design is going to work super, super well with. I'll show you on another model here. Let's try it out on her. She kind of has that oversized look, which is super, super popular right now. Right, that looks super cute and any dog lover would totally love this. But like I said, you can do the same kind of design with any pet. You could do it with a friend, with a hobby. Really, the sky is the limit with these types of designs. All right, so once we are totally happy with how this looks, we're gonna go back to the editor so that we can download this. Okay, so on this editing page, you're gonna go over to the upper right-hand side and click download. Then you're just gonna make sure and remove that background here. And then we're going to download as a PNG and it's already to upload to our products. Now I'm going to show you actually one more way that you can make this completely with AI. So I'm going to go ahead and start another canvas. All right. So if you want to get kind of a different style text, but you don't want to go through making it all by hand, you can actually use their generative AI. So I'm going to go down here to where it says Kittle AI. Now this is a really cool program that you have access to with your account. So you can either generate images. So say you wanted to just generate a bunch of images of pets, you could do that here, but you could also use their their new logo generator, which is actually going to make a design that you can edit and change. So it's not just like a static AI image. You can actually do stuff to this and use it. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to type in a metallic bold logo and see what that comes up with. All right. So it came with a few different options, but this is kind of what I was going for here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of get rid of this top elements here. I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to delete kind of this down at the bottom, but this is totally ready for us to use and just change the name here. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do the same name that we were working on before and then make sure that fits. I'm just going to raise that up. And then same thing, I could add even just three of those photos that we had used previously. So let's see here, this one is super cute. And let's do this one and this one I will flip. And then we're just gonna, again, remove that background. And then I'm just gonna resize these to take up more of the canvas here. Send them to the back. 
Right, so again, I could add a shadow to him here just to make him stand out a little bit. We can do the same thing for them too. And then I could even go ahead and change the color of that. So say I wanted it to be more of this bright one to stand out, I could totally do that. And then I think I'm going to actually change the text here again. I'm gonna try a little bit of a different script font. So let's see. Let's try this one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and angle that like we did previously. Now I think for this one, I might even try to add like flames instead of lightning. So I'm gonna go over to the elements and look up flames here. All right, this is super cute. And I could change it to more of this like white silvery style or I could even just leave it as is like this. I think that could actually be kind of fun. So I'm just adjusting the size of these. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and move them to the back. All right, now this would be perfect for a hoodie. So let's look and see at the mock-ups and see if we can put it on a hoodie, what that would look like. All right, that is looking super cute. So let's go ahead and download this version too. All right, so all we're gonna do is go over here to the downloads and then make sure to remove the background and download as a PNG and it's good to go. Now, if you have never tried Kittle before, I definitely recommend going down there and checking out my link because it's gonna give you a 50% discount. You can just try it out and see if you really like it. I have pretty much switched all of my print on demand designs to just using Kittle. I seriously can't recommend them enough. I have tons of other videos on how to use them. In fact, I even have an amazing video about making 10 designs in just 10 minutes that I think you're definitely going to want to check out. So I'm going to link that right here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.